Good morning. It's a beautiful day. The birds are singing and I fancy doing some drawing. So why not grab a pencil and follow along with me? So I showed you how to draw eyes in the last video um, and I've done another couple here. I quite like to get the eyes on the page first and then really I'm just going to roughly work out what might come underneath. I'm never usually sure exactly what I'm going to draw when I start. I just tend to let the pencil have its have its uh, have its head and just see what turns out. I see popping a couple of nostrils in down there, and uh, like like most giraffes, got quite a long nose. Um, putting a little muzzle around the bottom there, and then I'm going to put a little mouth underneath. Coming in under the eyes, a little bit of cheekbones and then obviously the cheeks down towards the muzzle. Over the top of the eyes, a lot of giraffes have these, um, these sort of bumps in the middle of their foreheads. And then I'm going to move above that, pop what they call the ossicones in, which are these uh, little horn-like antlers that they have uh, on the top of their heads. And then I'm going to round that off again round to where the forehead meets the top of the eyes. And this is really, really rough and really, really quick. Um, but it's not meant to be the final version. It's just a rough guide of where I'm planning to put the majority of the, of the lines. Uh, and then I've got every intention of, of adapting this once I've had a time to actually look at the sketch. Um, but then little ear there that I've had to tip up because I'm getting close to the end of the page. Um, but actually an ear that tips up gives a little bit of character, I think. Um, and then I've obviously decided to go down with the other one. Makes you wonder what the giraffe is thinking, really. OK, so once you've um, done your pencil sketch, it's then actually really easy to just go over the lines that you like and ignore the lines that you don't. Um, I suggest using uh, a black marker. I've got a fine tip Sharpie here, which um, I mean, I use these quite a lot because I know that the ink in this is permanent and once it's bonded with the paper, it's not going to run um, when I add either watercolours or acrylics or poster paints or whatever I decide to colour this in with. Um, but you can have a go. It's, it's great fun. And obviously then what all we do is, is rub the pencil out and off we go. Now we get to the next bit, which is our giraffe needs a neck. So I want our giraffe to be maybe looking out of the side of the page. Quite a thick neck for a little head, but different giraffes are different sizes. It's just peering into the page there. Now for some spots. I always put little ones in around the eyes, not too many. I often put them in threes for some reason. A lot of things on the page work better as threes or fives or sevens, so odd numbers really. Um, but also lots of different shapes as well. Nature is beautiful in that it makes everything, everything different and unique. And I love the fact that every giraffe spots are different. No two giraffes have the same spots, which is rather cool. A bit like a fingerprint, I guess. So slightly bigger ones on the cheeks. And then, of course, we get to the neck. And you can really have some fun with some big ones there, which are going to be great when we get round to putting some paint on as well. Always a good idea to stagger them, make them all slightly different shapes and sizes. Again, I like to stick with the slightly uneven shapes, but also uneven numbers. So it's a little bit unexpected, so you can really, really express yourself with these. And it really doesn't matter in the end, because let's face it, this is your giraffe. And you can do exactly what you want. Here's one that I did earlier on in brown and green, and another one in blue 
and this lovely dark pinky purple. I really hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. If you did, um, hit like so that I know. There's also a free giraffe uh, colouring in that you can download from my website if you'd like. Um, www.alicegmay.com and if you join my creatives list you will get my newsletter with lots of information on when I'm releasing new videos and new books uh, and also you can download some free colouring in resources. Until next time, take care.